I am your Rosame reader, Crow Song, and today I will be reading to you from Take Two by Mary Wright. Now, on to Chapter Eight First Day. When they got to their destination, the sun was blazing. The pathway felt like stepping on burning coals, in all honesty. As the group of people walked up the pathway to their assigned living space, a few of the actors and actresses were constantly complaining about how hot the weather was and got mad at one of the staff for picking a place like this. America felt bad for the staff as they profusely apologized. The actresses weren't even big ones either. He couldn't even remember their names. As much as he wanted to tell them off, he couldn't because he promised not to cause any trouble. He needed to keep his reputation in mind. But the American swore if those people started complaining again, he'd snap their feet like twigs before they could utter another word. It's quite hot and we still have quite a bit to go. Do you want me to carry you if you're tired? Rush asked sincerely to the shorter male next to him with an annoyed expression. China and Germany overheard this. They silently looked at each other and raised an eyebrow. China smirked and did a an okay hand sign. Germany looked at him with an I beg to differ written on his face. America was horrified at the mental image that created. No, please don't do that in public, he said with a hand covering his forehead. It's so hot. This is so annoying. I can't believe we have to walk this far. The staff are so stupid to pick a spot like this. I... One of the girls started to complain, but before she could finish her rant, Russia shot her a glance sharper than knives. A mere small actress shouldn't be complaining about the staff. You should be lucky that they even allowed you to be on the show, considering your participation won't affect the show's popularity at all, so suck it up. The Russian hissed. His words stabbed straight through her heart, but she couldn't say anything. It's not like she can pick a fight with the top actor, and she doesn't have a better physique either. She shut up after that. America internally praised him for speaking up. The people walking at the very back are the director and the manager of the show. They silently discussed about the show. They were quite optimistic due to having both top actors in the decade right here. We should have more screen time for Russia since he's the top actor and I'm sure people would watch just as long as he's there, the manager said. The director considered for a moment. If you ask me, people would watch the show purely because America is here. You know about his scandal and that he hasn't responded until now. I'm sure some people will watch the show purely because they want to get info on him or just insult him online in general. Don't you think the other participants will be uncomfortable around him? I mean, even I am a little uncomfortable if I have to be honest. The manager rubbed his arms. I mean, who wouldn't be? He got off easy as well. What has the world come to these days? When they arrived, the place was a small, cozy inn to mix in with the nature vibe they were going for for the show. By the time everyone was finished with the briefing and was given all their own separate rooms, they started rolling the cameras. America's room was next to Russia's, and he could have sworn he saw Russia light up like a firefly when he heard about it. But it could have just been his imagination again. I mean, who would ever be happy to be near him anymore? The host of the show talked to them about what they should do across the five days, and told them that for today they'd just cook dinner, due to how long the bus ride was, and it was already evening as well. In the kitchen, they were provided with ingredients. Everyone had a different set of ingredients. America's counter was filled with a variety of spices, but he couldn't find any sugar. Oh, well, that's too bad. 
The Russian glanced at the American's ingredients before smiling and turning back to his pile. The clock ticked by, signaling the remaining time they had. The camera circled around the entire room many times for clips. And time's up! Please don't do anything more. Feel free to share whatever you've made with your friends. Have a great night. Everyone seemed to genuinely enjoy themselves while cooking, even with all the mistakes and slip-ups they made. The American took a bottle of water and drank half of it in one sitting. He noticed Russia looking a little worn out next to him. America tilted the bottle over to him. You want some? Russia smiled and accepted the bottle, but before he did, Poland burst in and handed everyone their own separate drinks. America could have sworn that he clicked his tongue in annoyance before walking back to his counter. He stormed back next to America and handed him some of the food he made. Want some? It's sweet. I got sugar as an ingredient in my pile. I've been so sugar-deprived since yesterday. Yes, please. America was about to eat it when he suddenly remembered something. Ah, I forgot to clean my counter. I'll be right back. He walked back and tidied up his counter. Unfortunately, he was unlucky enough to accidentally knock over a bowl containing food. It toppled over and spilt all over another unlucky man who was right in front of it. Oh, I'm so sorry, Germany. I didn't mean to spill the wall all over you. America rushed to help him up, but Germany's expression had an I can do it myself written all over it. It's just an accident. Don't worry. I can clean myself just fine, so you can just stay there. And so America didn't move from his spot, but did clean up the remainder that didn't fall on Germany, but fell on the counter. Later that night, before the first episode of the small reality show was released, all the media rushed to watch it due to the quite a good amount of famous actors and actresses on there. XXXXX commented, China looks so good, as always. XXXXX commented, Oh my god, a new series with all of these good looking actors? I'm in! XXXXX commented, Well, I'm just here because there were a bunch of clips from this episode where America spilled a bowl all over Germany. XXXXXX commented, Y'all, did America do that on purpose? Ugh, I'm so done with him. He's such an asshole. He got off so easy last time. XXXXXXX commented, he definitely spilt that on purpose. Even after apologizing, he didn't even go to help. XXXXXXX commented, The only reason I'm watching this is to see America be an asshole, even after two years. XXXXXXX commented, Why isn't he cancelled already? Jeez. Of course, the snarky remarks weren't unnoticed by the show's staff. Why did the editors edit it like this? It looks like he did it on purpose, even though he didn't. We should fix it, the manager complained to the staff. We're getting more views because of it, though. Actually, I have an idea. The director placed a hand on his chin and smiled. And that's the end of this chapter. And I don't like the editors, and I also do not like the, um, director. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this chapter like I did. And I'd like to invite you to join us on the Discord, which is linked down in the description below. Anyway, I hope you have a nice rest of your day, night, or whatever it is for you. Just enjoy your time. And I will see you tomorrow.